So welcome back everybody, I'm Crypto Nobs. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Chainlink, having a look at its price, and I'm gonna be talking about why I'm still very, very hopeful for Chainlink in 2020 and the rest of the crypto market in 2020. If you take any value from this video, a like, a feedback, or subscribe really does help out this channel. Let's jump straight into the video, guys. So if we take a look at the current market cap, it is $155 billion. So quite a lot has been wiped off the market in the past week. Uh, if we take a look at Chainlink, it's still currently at the 12th position and it has currently had about 50% or 80% of its current value wiped off. Uh, I'm going to try and hopefully explain why I think this has happened. Uh, I did do a similar sort of thing in my last video. But I'm hopefully going to go over it for Chainlink investors uh, and Chainlink in particular. Um, but hopefully it will give you some reassurance. I said in my previous videos to do with Chainlink that I think there's going to be a few pullbacks. I didn't obviously expect it to be this big of a pullback uh, in my opinion. But uh, it, I think what we are currently in is uh, a global economic transition. Now... Obviously, that might be a bit hard to believe. This is just my opinion, but I think we are currently at the minute in a global uh, transition, uh, economic transition, purely because here's the thing. Now, with Chainlink in particular, it has had a huge amount of profit wiped off. Pretty much the whole crypto market, it, all of its profits that it has made this, uh, all the gains that it has made this uh, year has currently pretty much gone now i think what is happening is the governments are pumping uh obviously the stock markets are going down but now they are currently going back up and what they're doing is they're pumping an unbelievable amount of money back into the market now with Chainlink, in particular it's still holding very well bitcoin went down uh, 20 percent in like 48 hours it went down something ridiculous and the rest of the market obviously followed but chainlink is still bringing out good news the chainlink taps new partnership to tackle oracle problem they're still doing big big things considering this market is in a current downtrend but i do i'm still very very hopeful in my opinion uh, when the market is this bad when it uh, it's just good buying opportunities in my opinion, very very good buying opportunities. Obviously, it can be a bit worrying, but let me explain why I would be very baffled if it if it didn't happen. Now, the past two years, it seems like it's going to be de dead or whatever, and it it hasn't made sense uh, as to how all the big companies are now making this parabolic flip and if it was to now die i can't, I, I would be baffled because we are taking a a, a a transition in in finance a transition in this and it's just like what is the answer and it's just like if you take cryptocurrency out of the equation i can't think of anything if i'm honest there's nothing but if we look at the stock to flow i've showed you this many many times we are still on track we are still on track, which is uh, this is classed as a fair price. So again, even though we are in a very very panicky situation, I suppose it is still on track. Plan B, I've shown you this guys before. I just want to show you it again. Plan B, uh, the current price of Chainlink, uh, uh, Bitcoin, sorry, eight five thousand eight hundred dollars. We are still fine, and we are still in the the value price i reckon once once this whole coronavirus thing blows over and everything starts coming back into life everything starts opening sporting events start going back coming back on again this is where i think that crypto will will shine like and if it doesn't and it just continues to go down then that's when i'll start to panic but i think that we are going to take this is this is the final the big final blow before what i think is the sky and it might be a bit hard to believe, but I genuinely, genuinely think this could be the final big blow that we all take before we are rewarded for what we have been through the past two years, I suppose, what you could say. Uh, if we don't, then I would be very, very, very shocked because of how much progress this is. The whole crypto market has taken uh, to from multiple, multiple Bitcoin ATMs, multiple, multiple progress from the top reliable cryptocurrencies and for it to fail now it really would blow my mind uh it was uh, when i first got into it if it was going to fail it was going to fail then if it was going to fail it was going to fail all of it was going to fail 
10 years ago, 5 years ago, 6 years ago, 3 years ago, it would not fail now, in my opinion, when it's the strongest it's ever been. I think this is just one last hard punch before we before we make the biggest recovery ever. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, guys, this could be this could be very, very valuable. Now, Plan B also is shown multiple times. Just when it's days like this, you just got to go take a walk. I know this is mainly Bitcoin, but I bet I stress it all the time. What even if you don't believe in Bitcoin, the the Bitcoin price will have a very, very good effect on the rest of the crypto market. So let's say. If Bitcoin goes to 100,000, then I strongly believe the rest of the market will fly, like completely fly the rest of the market. Will Chainlink, you could see a 20 or a 200 there. Everything everything could fly if Bitcoin goes to 100,000. So that's why for the minute, even if you don't fully believe in Bitcoin, you, almost, you don't want Bitcoin to die because if Bitcoin dies, um, I think the rest of the market could follow um, unless something does overtake bitcoin but that would be a never seen before um in the crypto market but we're full of surprises this year guys um just expect them to keep coming when you see dips like these just keep buying in my opinion if you're if you strongly believe in the technology and you are what you call yourself a, a strong believer just buy the dips these are the perfect and probably the last opportunities that we will get we can't predict the future. There might be even lower buying opportunities. There might this might be the last opportunity we get to buy at these prices. But at the end of it, if you believe in it, you believe in it. But I've been Crypto Nobs, guys. Thanks for watching. If you've taken any value, a subscribe, like, or feedback is always greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching. Peace.